Joe Justice, Militant Christian Media. We've been following this uh, Christian Patriot group here. They tipped us off uh, that uh, they're at this Covenant Baptist United Church of Christ. Uh, today is the anniversary of Roe versus Wade. Uh, this church is the church that actually blessed the new Planned Parenthood in Washington, D.C. So I'm here with one of the Patriots, and he's going into the church, and we're just going to give you all the actions here. Thank you. You're safe. You're safe. You're safe. We're, we're not because your problem. church is an active, known, yeah. willful sin. You're going to hell. Yeah, you don't have to. Don't leave. Now, where is that Dr. Wiley? I don't want to talk to him. He needs an open rebuke. Yes, sir. He needs an open rebuke. Every one of you need an open rebuke. Yeah, Joe Justice here, MCM. Christian Patriot Group rebuking this church for the uh, Planned Parenthood. They're actually blessed Dr. Planned Parenthood, Dr. Wiley's. Uh, here with this church, so this Christian Patriot group is going to be standing out front of the church, uh, and looks like they're having like a Bible study going on right now. Um, so we're going to get out of here probably pretty soon because they've asked us to leave, and this is private property, so I don't want to get arrested. Uh, but yeah, check it out. I believe it's called Covenant Baptist Church, United Church of Christ. So. Um, Reverend Wiley and his wife, also Reverend Wiley, both Dr. Wiley's, they approved, they actually blessed the new Planned Parenthood in D.C. last week. Check it out on the Huffington Post. Pastors bless Planned Parenthood. See whether you be in the truth. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ. He might yet be found. You cleanse your hands, you sinners, of the blood of these babies. Why can't I say it in the fellowship? If you're going to stay on If you're going to welcome, the, the website said all are welcome. Oh, yeah, you're right. I have no fellowship with darkness. You're right. He tries to press it if you want. Sir. But the truth is the truth. Do you approve of abortion? That's. I'm not. I'm Joe Justice with MCM. I'm, 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 I mean, the Bible says God hates. The Bible says God, God hates hands that shed innocent blood. And you, are you Dr. Wiley? Are you Dr. Wiley? No, I'm not Dr. Wiley. Where's Dr. Wiley? I want to talk to Dr. Wiley. Why can't I? Because I'm not talking. I'm sorry. Why don't you let me? He needs to repent. Why do you people approve the plan? Why? Maybe he'll come outside and talk to us. This is like a uh, preacher here is going to head outside of the building where the other Christian and patriots are. Leave. Repent or perish. 
Hear that? Leave. 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 Run to Jesus. Leave. Run to Jesus. Leave. Run to Jesus, viewers. Right here, right here, right here, right here. You got. Where's Dr. Wiley? Dr. Wiley, where are you? Come on out. Southeast, one side, and southwest. Mayor, someone has already called the police. Okay. Go right there. Don't hurt. Call again. Where's the door? You need to let the trustees have it here. Yeah. That's right. Oh, you know your place, woman. You know your place, woman. You know, it's funny. No, your place. It's funny. I don't want a place. You sinner need, need to repent. You sinner need to repent. Where's the Reverend Dr. Wiley at? Where's he at? He won't come oh, out. you witches. Filthy. He won't come out. He's fever. Where are he you at, He won't come out of his cubby hole. You're just a man. Where are you at? Come address the men of Looks God. Looks like we got the other Christian false protesters teacher. out here. You are the Abortion is murder sign. Anti-Black Lives Matter sign. Planned Parenthood. Shame on you. I thought Black Lives Matter. Shame black Lives you. Matter, right? Shame on you. You're wicked. You're vile. Leading people to hell. False teacher. Shame on you. Aren't you going to contend for the faith and be a man of God? Tell us a word. Preach to us, pastor. Preach to us, pastor. Child of the devil on your way to hell and leading people to hell. Right Looks like the, uh, Teach the Christian group here had faith. this orchestrated all along like on the outside. I had a tip that just that one uh, preacher there. Uh, Preacher John, who gave me his name, uh, he said that he was just going in there to rebuke the pastor. It appears it was another vehicle. I drove up with him because I wanted to get the story. Uh, with this other guy, it looks like they had some other vehicles here uh, full of these other preachers set up. So We're going to cover this, and we're going to be at some other events later on today. So stay with us. Joe Justice, Militant Christian Media, News on the Edge of the Sword here in Washington, D.C. And you go in this place, this building, to get your ears tickled. Shame on you, Black Lives Matter. Didn't you want to cry when your son is shot by a police officer? You want to cry about that? What about Black Lives Matter? Huh? Bunch of racist, racist people. Racist. What about the black babies? Those lives matter. You support and endorse Planned Parenthood? The anniversary of Roe versus Wade? Where it's okay for the black women to kill their black babies? Shame on you. Shame on you. You're like wicked. The wicked. Like the police are here. In the eyes of God. This ain't a church. This ain't a church. Of wolves dressed in sheep's clothing. That's what this is. This ain't no church, people. Okay. This ain't no church at all. That's cool. You need to be born again. You need a fear God. So it looks like the... Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. The spiritual awakening. Shame on you. All right. So it looks like they have called the police here. So hopefully the police will arrest those murderers. Hopefully they'll arrest... So that's how I feel about the abortion issue. You know, I try to be fair and I'm ba fair and balanced with my news reporting. But when it comes to children, I get pretty worked up. So hoping these children... Uh, will be saved by uh, the upbraiding of this church here because obviously this church is against children. This church is against family and what a shame it is. So we're praying uh, for this church to be shut down. Looks like a whole squadron. Looks like four more, five more vehicles are here. It didn't wash away nothing. It didn't wash away no negativity. He didn't wash away no negativity. You're still going to kill black babies. He didn't wash away nothing. Your prayer circle. Looks like they've got about five or six squad vehicles here. Here. The Metropolitan Police in Washington. I don't believe they're breaking any law. They're out here on the public sidewalk. Uh, myself and the other preacher, John, we were actually invited to the church. 
So anyone's welcome to come to a uh, church. That's why one of the, you know, they're t tax free. These are community service built type buildings. So anyone is welcome to come to church. Now, once they ask you uh, to leave, you have to leave in a reasonable amount of time. So, yeah, we are all invited. Go to their website. It says all are welcome. Even says on their signage uh, on, the, uh, on the side of the building over there uh, that all are, are welcome here. So um, anybody can go into a church. Uh, but when it comes to not leaving, that's another thing. Let's see what's going on. Save us, police! Save us, police! Save us! We're going to be here in so yeah, That's right. All right. Wicked. Thank you. Wicked. All right. Looks like the uh, police are going to let the let the protesters stay here. They said freedom of speech. They're going to be out of here when when uh, when the uh, church service starts at ten. So we'll see what happens. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Wicked You don't love us. You love yourself. You love your church. You don't love God. What kind Looks of like the leader of the group here is going to do some preaching. Parenthood. Jesus said, feed Stand back my here. Excuse sheep. Me, sir. He didn't say, kill my sheep. Right. Jesus Christ said, feed my sheep. Shame on you, pastor. Don't you know the concept of Planned Parenthood? On this anniversary of Roe versus Way, you ought to be crying today with all those black babies getting killed every day. And where are you? You are standing shoulder to shoulder. There's quite a with mix Planned here with Parenthood. the Christian group. They do have Shame some African Americans Jesus here. They Christ have said, one guy from India. And this is a couple. They have a couple of Hispanic guys Not here. So these are all white preachers here. Those There's a variety those of uh, cultures represented Murder here today. And racist. Don't Black Lives Matter here at Covenant Baptist Church? No, Black Lives don't matter at all. Black Lives don't matter at all. Time for you to get yourself a new church, woman. Time for you to get a church that actually believes in the Bible. Amen. The same Bible that says, Thou shall not kill. That's right. And you endorse plant parenthood? Shame on you. You got a black eye, Pastor, when you meet God. Excuse your me, sir. Heart so is can I get a, little, can I get a short interview skin. over here from you? You when were just you talking. This is a mostly black church here. Some Shame guy saying that you, uh, the black guy that's with this group is brainwashed on this uh, live feed here. We're coming. I'm Joe Justice with MCM. Right. So um, ah! we, are, we are we are a Christian media company, Where and I do agree with you on the stand against abortion. Last last night I was covering you guys at ping pong. I don't know if all the allegations there about ping pong are true, but I'm definitely you know having a nine year old daughter. I'm definitely against you know pedophilia and things like that. So, but this matter, you know, I've got some viewers here that's saying that you're that you're brainwashed running with this crew right here. Now there are some Hispanics in the crew here. There's another uh, African American lady, and you're the only African American male. What would you say? You to these viewers uh, that are saying that you're God a brainwashed black are. male running with this crew you right here. Understand. First of all, what makes me brainwashed when God. most of the world listens to hip-hop music, rap Bible music that supports carrying guns, guns, disrespecting women, why. money, idolatry, and all that. What makes me brainwashed when we can turn on TV and you can see an image around the black system. community? The you have to have Nikes, Jordans, look and dress a certain way. But then when and these men, these boys, go out in the community, they want to act like Tupac. What's they want to act like the rappers. They want to act like Jay-Z, Kanye West, uh, uh, Future. All these rap stars, they want, they want to be pimps. They want to be ballers. They want to sell drugs. They want to make their come up. So oh, what, am, am I deceived you. about that or is that the Your truth of the matter? The truth of the, the matter government. is when they go out Your and they bring this image the into, into their life, Shame into their teens, into their 20s, they want they to pimp, they want to... Uh, Who's they want to be pimps that Baptist prostitute Church. these homes out and all this type of stuff. Is. And then when they it's have no authority, God. a your police officer the pull them over and they all already have a rap sheet from all their the criminal police. behavior and, and they don't want to know how to listen and submit to authority. Then they end up getting shot huh? because now I'm hard. Cross. I don't need to Stop listen to authority. I don't need to listen to the police. Then they get shot and their grandmas and their mothers cry about the police officer doing their job because the man and the little 
little punk didn't want to listen to authority because the man and the little punk didn't have a daddy growing up in the home. What makes me deceived? I'm black. I've experienced it. I've had guns pulled on me by police officers when I was a wicked heathen, when I was trying to be a pimp, when I was living my life in the world. I'm still alive. Why? Because I listen. I submit when they tell me to do something and there's guns pointed on me. I'm not going to act hard and invincible. Gotcha, man. Yeah, great word. Great word. Uh, now, why why this church in D.C. today? Why the Covenant Baptist United Church of Christ? I was just in there. They were doing their Bible study. The, the service starts here in about 20, 30 minutes. I'm sure there's more people coming here. But why this church? Why today and why this church? Well, today is the anniversary of Roe versus Wade. Roe vs. Wade supports abortion. Planned Parenthood Baptist. supports abortion. Abortion God happens is the is highest rating in hand. black communities. Democratic God Party places face. Planned Parenthood in, in poor poverty well, ghetto neighborhoods. You go to rich neighborhoods, you don't see a Planned Parenthood. You go to upscale neighborhoods, you don't see a Planned Parenthood. You go to the ghettos and the hoods, you see a Planned Parenthood. Why? Think about it. This church here stood hand in hand in a kumbaya circle at a Planned Parenthood praying for it and washing away the negativity that comes on oh, the Planned Parenthood. That's why we're here. They stand Same for Planned Parenthood. They stand for abortion. All right. Hey, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Shame on you. You break the law, you go to jail, and rightly so. The same principle applies with God. You break God's law, rightly so, you go to hellfire. Be advised, neighborhood. Be advised, do not go to this church. What a bad, wicked church this is. They claim to know God, and yet they endorse murder. Avoid this church. Read the Bible. They're more concerned about their 501c3 status. It's like somebody they only want possibly your money. busting a window you over here or something. Hope, I don't know if you it's a preacher's church or what, what just happened. We just heard the glass breaking. Looks like the police are walking this way to see what's going on. Don't believe a lie. Probably just a bottle dropping. I'm not sure. But stay tuned. We might have uh, might have bottles flying flying at these preachers here. But we're gonna go back to the preacher here. See if I can uh, get some good coverage in front of the church here. The Bible says judgment begins in the house of God. Amen. And we're bringing God's judgment to you, Pastor. What God decides of you to you, you better start fearing God. Oh, the blood of those babies are crying out to God right now. They're Somebody was asking about our right following now. here and uh, website. In yeah, this is Joe Justice. Or you can reach me at Joe at militantchristianmedia.com. Uh, the editor-in-chief of Militant Shame Christian Media uh, is Walter Riggs. You can reach him at Riggs at militantchristianmedia.com. And... Uh, our website's going to be launched soon. It's already up, but it'll pretty much direct you to our Twitters and Facebook and other social media. Facebook's been our main platform. Uh, several weeks ago, we were banned from there for some of the videos. Uh, one of the videos that had over a million views caused us to be banned. So you can follow us all over. It's called murder. It's called murder. That baby's got a heartbeat 18 days after conception. That means it's a living being. If you have a heartbeat and you're in the hospital... I didn't see the bottles either. I just heard the bottles and saw the police going over that way. Your heart stops, they pronounce you dead. That baby's living in the world and you rip it out of the world and you pay Planned Parenthood to do it. I agree. I believe this is how disciples did it in the Bible. They went into the highways and highways. They went out into the places where people were gathered together. They went to the temples and, and lifted up their voice like a trumpet, Isaiah 58 says. And I believe that's what these guys are doing uh, to warn the people. You know, we're living in such a De depraved God. time, debauchery, it's open rebellion everywhere, so they need a hard rebuke. But I've also seen these guys uh, having compassion and, and really uh, crying out to people and people getting into tears and them loving on them and things. So I've seen both sides from these preachers and what I've seen from them. And I didn't say they had megaphones. Hey, uh, Microburn, why don't you just uh, drop off the scope and uh, go play some video games? Hey, this, this looks 
let this whole neighborhood know. This You're probably a chronic masturbator with your smart aleck comments. Black babies. This judge approves murdering and aborting black babies. Neighborhood, be advised. This hey, killer. judge approves murdering black babies. Hey, no problem, babies. Elliot. It's a privilege, Stay honor. I consider this uh, just my service to God. Uh, hopefully we're going to grow this militant Christian media to bigger so we can travel more and, and get you more stories. But we're based in, uh, we, have, we got people in, in Phoenix right now, uh, Los Angeles, Cincinnati, Ohio, Portland, Oregon. And uh, we're also looking for other people that want to get involved with media and do photography and videography in your city. So shoot me an email, joe at militantchristianmedia.com if you have those type of skills and would like to possibly become a chapter in your city. Tonight, lift your hands up and fall to your knees and call on Jesus. You better repent, people. You better repent. You're going to die and you're going to meet God. You're going to give an account for all that blood. No, this is not white supremacy. There's Hispanics in this group. Uh, two or three, there's a African, two African Americans and about four or five white males. Um, definitely not white supremacists. They just uh, Bible believers. Uh, the websites uh, on the uh, on the banners. Let me show you the websites on the banners. Excuse me, let me get this website here on your banner, sir. Let me see.